Can you be faithful in the small things? And I mean the real small things. Like the things you ask your teenagers or your kids to do. You know, like pick up after themselves, make the bed, brush their teeth, take a shower, bring down the dirty dishes when you're done with it. Small things, little things. Does your boss have to keep reminding you to do these little things or asking you to do them like you do your teenagers? Don't you get tired with your kids asking them to do the simplest things that a two-year-old has figured out how to do, but you've got to keep reminding them and reminding them? I have found that if you have to remind people or ask or beg people to do something, they're not going to be faithful in the little things. And if you can't be faithful in the little things, you're not going to be faithful with the big. Actually, according to Luke 16, 10, it says, if we're not faithful in the little things, no, we're not going to be faithful in the big things. But we will also be dishonest in the little things and the big things, which means we're not going to be trustworthy to handle them. So most of us want the big things in life. We want the promotion. We want success. We want the big corner office or the car or the home or the whatever it happens to be. We want the big stuff. But if we can't handle the little stuff, the picking up the trash, cleaning the bathrooms at work, picking up after other people, turning lights off, taking care of client problems that aren't your problems, doing things that are not part of your employee manual that you signed for, if you can't do those other things, the little things, the things that are invisible that most people don't see, then I got news for you and you're not going to like it. If you refuse to do those because they, you feel they're beneath you, then you will never be honest and trustworthy in the big things. And you're rarely going to be given the big things because people don't trust you. I have found over my long career now that being faithful in the little things, being trustworthy in the little stuff, the stuff that most of us think doesn't matter, makes us rare, makes you more valuable than gold, silver, and diamonds because you're so hard to find. Because there's so few people that will be faithful consistently day in and day out in things that are not their responsibility, that are truly beneath them, but they'll still do it anyway because they'll take ownership over them. Those types of people have one opportunity after another hitting them. They don't even have time to pursue the opportunities. They have so many people that want them. They are fireproof. They are recession-proof. Everybody is standing in line to find those type of people. They're a needle in a haystack, and it's the one thing you control. And it's not based on your skill, your talent level, the color of your skin, how much money you have or don't have, where you come from or where you grew up. It's all based on an attitude. I'm going to do it, even if it's not my responsibility. Because I'm going to be faithful in the small things. Because once you are, it opens the world up to you. And the big things will get thrown at you. Don't be one of those people that are like the typical teenager that you have to tell over and over and over. If your boss has to constantly tell you or ask you to do things and you're not doing it, then you're never going to be faithful in the big things because we're not faithful in the small. And this has been proven out. Take a look at the lottery. The big million dollar and above, it's been proven that well over the majority of them end up in worse cases than they did when they began, when they got the money. Because they were given a huge amount of money. But if they were never faithful with a little bit of money they had, they're not going to be faithful with more. Because money's not our problem. It's the ability to handle it, to take care of it, to be trustworthy in it, to deal with it, to learn from it. And if we're not doing that in our jobs, we're going to just be like those lottery winners. We'll be good for a season until the money runs out and then we're going to be bad again. Because we've never dealt with the little things. So in 2019, here is my request to you. Please show up at work every single day and do the little stuff. And if you'll do that, you're going to have one opportunity after another in 2019. 2019 will be your best year ever. My name is Ed Carcari, and I'd love to connect with you at edcarcari.com. Find your passion. You'll find your life.